Hello guys. Uh, can you hear me guys? This is Mr. Market Switch. We have a new day. Uh, and we have a new class today. We are about to start guys. We are about to start. Uh, let me be sure that you can hear me. If you can hear me, please you can just write something on the chat page on your left on your right uh write something let me know if you can hear me guys mr inusa can you hear me from ghana we have people from ghana in this presentation guys if you can hear me please let me know wow mr Mzirai, can you hear me others if you can hear me please let me know let me know if you can hear me guys it's very important it's very important it's very important guys all right guys oh thank uh, thank you everybody thank you everyone uh i'm very happy that you have joined us here today for our official uh for our program uh today concerning how to analyze forex market using candlestick patterns remember the candlestick patterns that you are going to use today uh only two, only two that we have already covered. Doge candlestick pattern and pin bar. Remember, we have already gone through all these two, uh, uh, these two candlestick patterns. But today is very specific. It's very special for us to learn in deep how now to use this candlestick pattern as an additional confirmation of your trade. As an additional confirmation of a trade that you have to take in the forex market, it's very important. So uh, let me share my screen here. Let me share my screen. Let me share my screen, guys. It's better we talk. We talk using the screen. We using the the real stuff rather than talking just the mere words. We have to, to consider the real stuff here, guys. Okay. Um, what am I looking at? I'm looking at Canadian dollar, Japanese yen right now, guys. I'm looking at Canadian dollar, Japanese yen right in front of my eyes. All right. So what is our concerning here? We are, we are now just going to, to take a look. We're just going to take a look at, at these two. At the at the at these two do, uh, candlestick pattern, these two candlestick pattern, pin bar and doge candlestick pattern, and now we are going to see how we can trade. We can trade uh, by uh, using the information given by this candlestick pattern, also with combination in also in combination with the other confirmation in the forex market. You see, guys, this is Canadian dollar, uh, Canadian dollar, Japanese yen on daily time frame daily time frame do you see that one there perfect now if now you are uh, uh, you, 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 you are trading or you have just opened you are you are pair like that how are you going to start how are you going to start number one number number one number one thing that's very important you have to ask yourself uh, is the market trending or ranging is the market trending or ranging that is the number one question because we always we, we always know that uh, uh, or put an emphasis on on, on trading uh, according to the trading. You should not trade against the trend. So the first thing to understand when you have opened your chart or your pair, number one thing you need to ask yourself: Is this market trending or ranging? Is this an uptrend or downtrend? That is the number one thing to consider, guys. Once you understand the trend of the market, once you understand the trend of the market, it will help you now to move one step ahead. See, guys, so when looking at Canadian dollar Japanese yen, it's, it's very clear that this market is trending and it's on downtrend. It's on downtrend, guys. This is on downtrend. Now, if I take my trend line, if I take my trend line, my well, guy, I don't hear any line. Please mute yourself. 
Mute yourself, please. Mr. Bowley, mute yourself. I'm the only one who should be speaking here. Please, guys, if you join us, make sure you mute yourself. I'm the only one who should be who should be speaking here. Oh. Okay, let me see what I can do. All right, guys. I think we can we can now proceed. We can now proceed. Nice. Okay. So, looking at Canadian dollar, Japanese yen. Looking at Canadian dollar, Japanese yen. Japanese yen. You can see. This is uh this is clear a downtrend. This is clear downtrend, guys. It's a clear downtrend. It's a clear downtrend. You can see, you can see the touch there. You can see the touch. Let me show you guys. You can clearly see the touch here. You can see another one here. You can see another one here. You can see there. There. There, guys. All right. So now looking at this, you see this is a. You can see this is a downtrend. It's a downtrend, guys. It's a downtrend. Now, this now act as a dynamic resistance of this downtrend. The market made a pullback there. There was a rejection on this. On this. The resistance, which is a dynamic resistance, this is this trend line here act as a dynamic resistance, guys. Why? Because this is a downtrend. So this one act as a dynamic resistance. So you can see the rejection there. You can see another one there. Uh, whenever the market made a pullback to this area, it encounter it encounter uh, it encounters uh, a, 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 a resistance there. So you can see the rejection. Another rejection there. Another rejection, another one there, another one there. Now, look careful. Just look careful at all, at, 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 at this area where there are uh, this rejection, at the area of rejection. Just look careful in these areas. <clears throat> Make a close look at these areas. I want to show you something, guys. I want to show you something. Uh, okay, let's start with this one. If you make a closer look at this one, if you make a closer look at this one, you can see before this movement, you can see before, uh, let, me, let me take this one. Before this movement here, before this movement, before this movement. You can see, if you look closely, you can see this candlestick here. It is a pin bar. A pin bar which is a reversal candlestick pattern forming just at the dynamic resistance. Forming just at the resistance. Now, we have this line, this, this line here. Maybe this was not there or was not clear since the market was just at this area. But we had a what? We had, we had a resistance just up there. Remember, at this point, this, this other rejection were not available, were not present. So what, what would you consider when looking at this point. What I want to show you guys is very important because I want to, 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 to show you that this reversal candlestick pattern, bar, uh, pin bar, doji candlestick patterns, they are additional, they are uh, the powerful candlestick patterns that provide a lot of information for what the market is about to do in the near future. 
So what is showing you is an indicator that you have to take a trade confidently. You take a trade confidently because the information that I've been provided uh, tells you that now it's time, guys. It's time to take a rally. And now you can see just at the resistance, just at the resistance. Remember there is this rejection here and another one there. So this one, this rejection here makes this one to be what? To be another resistance. And uh, you can see if we, we go back, you can see there was another rejection there. So it's obvious that this one, this one, this area here, there is a what? There is a resistance. Now, look careful at this. Look careful at this one, guys. You can see there, we have a pin bar formed before this movement. Before this movement from this point to this point. So this pin bar formed just at the resistance. This is to tell you that, this is to tell you that the market is about to reverse. The market is about to reverse. Why? Because we have a, dot, a pin bar formed there, which is an indicator that the, is an indicator that the market is going to, to reverse very soon. So, number one confirmation of this. Remember, you, we don't just make decision based on candlestick pattern. We make decision based on numbers of, of evidence. So, we, we, we have number one, number one evidence that the market is at what? The market is at resistance. Number two, we have this pattern formed, guys. We have this pattern here. Do you see this pattern, guys? We have this pattern from the, I think I can show you using this one. We have this pattern formed here. You see this pattern, guys? We have a head, we have a left shoulder, and we had a right shoulder here. So all this, all this head and the shoulder, remember, is a uh, Head and shoulder is what is a bearish chart pattern, or it's a bearish, uh, it's a bearish pattern that show us that the market is going to sell. So, considering the uh, head and shoulder pattern resistance, the formation of pin bar at the resistance, in combination, in combination. They tell you that now you can take a trade confident. And you can see, guys, anyone who took this trade from this from just this candle, the next candle after this pin bar. Remember, the pin bar is just here. The next candle after this pin bar. And if the guy was confidence, confident enough, if he was confidently enough, you can see. How much he made there? It's about how many pips? It's about from this point. It's about it's about nine hundred fifty nine fifty nine hundred fifty point three pips. What else do you want God to give you guys? If you understand this powerful way of analyzing the market, if you understand this powerful way of analyzing the market. It will, it, will, it will make the market or it will help you to see the market very open. It will help you to see the market very open, guys, because right now you understand whatever happened in the market, what it implies. You understand the information provided by the candlestick pattern form. If you see the long candlestick pattern, that means the momentum of market in that direction is still strong. You see, at this point, at this point here, you can see this, these candles that are formed again. The long, long, strong candlestick pattern formed that, uh, that will uh, show you that this market is very strong. So it's very strong on downtrend, but the information, the initial formation provided was just there at the resistance. You see, guys, not only there, not only there. If now we come back to this point, let me show you something else here, guys. Uh, let me show you something else. It's very powerful. This is very powerful, and uh, we need to go with it very slowly. 
so that everybody, everybody, I want everybody to understand this. I want every one of you guys to understand this. It's very important. Now look at this, guys. Just, just look at this one. This was another rejection. Even this one, you can see, even this one here, at this, we had a pin bar formed, a pin bar formed. Just look at this one. This one is very clear. You see, you see this one, guys? You can see a rejection just at the dynamic resistance, but we have a pin bar there. This pin bar, they are the candlestick, reversal candlestick pattern that tell us that the market, uh, the, the previous movement or the previous trend of the market has now, uh, the momentum has now, uh, has now, has, has, has now come, has, has, now, has now decreased, and now the market might reverse anytime soon. The market might reverse anytime soon. So at this point, you can see the, the pin bar formed there, the pin bar formed just there, then guess what? The market boom. You can see the market, the market went down to this point. See guys? And the market made another pullback at the what? At the, at the dynamic resistance. And guess what happened? You can see this dodge. We have dodge candlestick pattern and a lot of pin bar there. A lot of pin bar and, and a lot of dodge candlestick patterns formed. You can see a lot of, uh, we can see another pin bar there. Uh, multiple pin bar formed. Then at the resistance, then the market boom. You can see guys, a lot of pips there. Right now, we have another movement there. And this one might be an opportunity for you guys because we still have, we still have to enjoy the movement on this one. Because you can see just here, the market formed uh, uh, doji candlestick pattern, long leg doji candlestick pattern. We have a pin bar candlestick pattern uh, and uh, another, uh, and the other, other, other numbers of uh, pin bar there. And guess what? The market is now behaving. The market is now behaving. And I expect the market to behave properly, uh, maybe up to that point or even more down, downside, even more downside. See so guys, then I expect another pullback just to at, at the area, at the same area. Then uh, after that, we might be looking for another, for another, another opportunity. So guys, Looking at this, you can see this is a downtrend. It's a clear downtrend, but you can see what the, how the market is behaving at this dynamic resistance. The market is behaving at this dynamic resistance. And you can see uh, the, this candlestick pattern formed at the resistance. The candlestick pattern formed at the resistance before the fall, before the fall. You can see they are this uh, profitable candlestick pattern that you have been looking at. Now, this is how you combine the information regarding candlestick patterns, not just based on candlestick patterns. And remember, guys, uh, this profitable candlestick pattern are very powerful when they are formed in larger time frame. They are very powerful when they are formed in larger time frame, either four hour, daily, and above, weekly and monthly. But in the smaller time frame, they, are, they, 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 might, they might have a lot of noises. They might have a lot of noises. Sometimes, Market to, may not respect uh, this this candlestick patterns when they are formed in the smaller time frame, but when they are formed in the larger time frame, they do provide a proper information. They do give you a clue about what the market will be doing in the next in the next in the near future or in the next uh, few hours or in the next in the next few days. So it's very important, guys, for you to understand and to know exactly how to trade this, how to look at this, uh, 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 this and combine it with other information or other confirmation before you make a decision in the forex market. Now, this is Dodge candlestick pattern, and we already have an opportunity here. Remember, we are just trying to look at this, but we are also looking for the opportunity. Why? Because the market is live, and we can we can we can also take the opportunity. It's a very important, guys. So we have an opportunity on Canadian dollar, Japanese yen for bearish market. Why? Because we are just we are just few pips. We are just now a few pips from the, 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 the resistance and we already have the information provided by the candlestick pattern there. A lot of confirmation that the market has to go down and uh, from there uh, we could have another 
go back before we are before looking for another opportunity. So it's very important, guys, for you to understand that. It's very important. Now let's look at, it, at another thing else. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Maybe I should I should erase all these stuffs here. Okay. Uh, let me let me let me let me take care of this. Okay. So uh, that is how we trade using Dodge candlestick pattern and pin bar. Now uh, uh, let's let's look at something else. Let's look at something else here. We are having what we are having this one. This is USD Swiss franc. This is USD Swiss franc, guys. Uh, and you can see USD Swiss franc at daily time frame. Daily time frame is just like that. Daily time frame is just like that. Uh, maybe let me see if we can just take a look at it on four hours time frame. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's take a look at it on four hours time frame instead of daily time frame. I know why I'm saying so. Uh, you can see, guys, uh, you can see this one. You can see this one at the. You see this touch here, another one here, another one here, another one there. Okay, uh, that one is valid because we could not take this one. We could not take. We could not take this one here because because this one you can see just only two touches, only two touches, but uh, uh, only two touches here and here but the valid trend line is this one the valid trend line is this one because it uh, it carries or it involves uh, a lot of touches uh, this one this one this one this one so one two three four five the more the touches the valid the trend line so this one is more valid take, let's take care of that one all right guys so what are we looking at this? What are we looking now here? Well, just going to look at this. This was a clear uptrend. It's a clear uptrend on four hours time frame because we have this. We have this, guys. Uh, we have formation of, you see, you see high, high. You can see high, high there. You can see the market has formed the high, high. We have high, low. This one is high, low. Uh, we have high high. Uh, uh, so uh, any market creating high 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 low high 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 low high 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 low is an uptrend. It's an uptrend because high high are just formed on uptrend. High low are also formed on uh, yes. So we have that. We also have the, this one. Uh, this one here. Here and this one. This one is not valid because they exactly the same area uh, with the previous one. So in order for high high to be valid, it has to pass through or to be above the previous high high. So this, this one is not valid because it's not above the previous high high. So this one is the one that is valid. So you can see, so the market has, has created a high high here. Uh, sorry for the drawings. Uh, it's not very straight. So, and here we have high low. Here we have high low. So, this is a clear uptrend. Now, I want to show you something, guys. I want to show you something here. I want to show you something very important, very important. In order for you to get an opportunity, I want you guys to see opportunity in the market. It's very important for you guys to see opportunity. If you can't see opportunity, it's a disaster. Uh, you cannot trade in the forex market if you can't see uh, you can't see which trade to take. You need to see which trade to take because it gives you it gives you confidence. Now look at these areas. Just look, just take a look at this area, guys. Uh, just take a look at this area. There was a rejection somewhere here. This is now dynamic support. Why? Because this is, this is an uptrend. An, up, uh, an uptrend has got to a dynamic support. See? It's, it's, why dynamic support? Because it keeps on 
it, it occurs as the market is moving. So the, it's created uh, or it moves with the market. This is the one that is formed uh, uh, according to what the market is doing. So you can see at this rejection, wherever there is this rejection, you can see you can see that that candlestick pattern, either doji or uh, pin bar. Uh, you can see here we had a what? We had uh, we had a pin bar there, and a breakout above the high of the pin bar. Breakout above the high of the pin bar. You can see the market boom created a lot of pips here, guys. You can see when the market came back to this area, dynamic support, it formed the multiple double pin bar. You can see the double pin bar just in there. You can see, guys, remember, it's not just about the formation of candlestick pattern. Even here, it was formed. It has to be formed at the critical area. The critical area we are talking about uh, is either resistance, support, uh, which, you, which, you, which you might regard them as supply or demand zone. So uh, uh, formation of this candlestick pattern at a critical area or at the zones, uh, they are very essential. It's very, it's, it's very powerful when they are formed at the critical area because it gives us a confidence of taking a trade. Confidence of taking a trade. So you take a trade confidently after knowing that we are at the critical area, the market, uh, the market is now at the support. We have Doge, uh, Doge open bar formation. We also have other stuff like chart patterns or market, market reversal patterns that we form. When you combine all those informations, you take a trade confidently like no other. And you, 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 you don't need to worry about anything once you are sure of this market, you guys. You see, it's very important. So if you take a trade here, what else do you want? You have to hold, just hold your trade. Yeah? Just hold, let the market move. You see the market moving. Wait for the market again to come back, then you enter again. You see, we have this pin bar here, then the market boom. We have another pin bar formed at this area, then the market boom. And this one, and this one here, we're waiting for the market. We're waiting to see how the market is going to close. Let's, let's just wait. You know, you have to be patient. You have to be patient. When you see the market has already created as many, as many information, has already accumulated as many information as possible, as many evidences as possible, you just take a trade slowly, confidently, with peace of mind and the heart, and you relax, guys. You relax. You take a trade confidently, and you relax. You don't need to fear anybody, anything. See what I mean, guys? It's very important. So you consider that. You consider that. It's very important. So for, now, how do we trade, uh, trade in this kind of market? You see, you just take a trade here, then you wait until the market is somewhere above the previous, uh, previous high. Then when the market is up there, or oh, it's some pips above the previous high, you know, uh, you know that uh, the market will, will come back or we, we, we made another pullback. To the to the support. So what you do, you just you, you may decide to 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 take a partial profit or to close some position and leave some few if you want to hold the uh, the, the other uh, position up to this point. So you can just do like that. But when the market comes back here, you can add another, another position. You can add more position after after the market has given you all this information. You add more position, guys, and you keep holding. This is how people keep accumulating a lot of money in uptrend or in a trending market, either uptrend or downtrend. This is how people do these stuffs, guys. So you add more position here, then you just hold. Remember, there are people who are just trading without doing analysis. Guys, please, do not trade without doing analysis. Do you know why you are losing money? You just look at the market and you think everything is just up there in your mind, and you think now you can just enter the market because you have seen the pattern form. No, you have to understand where the market is uh, in, in a trending market, either uptrend or downtrend. You might take, you might take a buying trade, a, a trade in a bullish or in a long position at this point, but the market had, uh, still had an opportunity to sell up to this point. Then this is where you could take a trade. 
it was a suitable or a perfect entry at this point. This is this is how you do things because you have to you have to you have to to analyze the market. You have to know uh, which start strategy you are using the false market. Number one strategy among all that you need to consider. You have to know you have to consider the training market. You have to know you have to know which direction the market is taking. Uh, the general direction of the market, which is a trending market, either uptrend or downtrend. So after knowing it's uptrend or downtrend, then you just uh, you just consider other stars of yours. This is very important, guys. This is very important. So we have this uh, pin bars, pin bars, uh, pin bars there, here, here, and here. So it's very important. And, and uh, uh, we're waiting for to see how the market is going to close this one. So that we can get some more information before we take it to you. Don't just take a trade because the market is just has already hit the odd, has already hit the uh, uh, what uh, your your support. No, no. Uh, I can see the market was like the market was like forming railway track candlestick pattern here, but uh, uh, I can see something else. I can see a kind of a kind of uh, a kind of double bottom. You might not see, but let me show you. Do you see this candle here? This candle is going down, and this candle at the middle is going up, which is which means it's creating uh, uh, another another pattern there. Then down, so you can see a kind of W. You can see a kind of W. What kind of W? You can see down, up, down. Then if the next candle do something like that, it's not something strange. Why? Because the market has decided not to form candlestick pattern. Instead, the market has decided to form reverse or candlestick pattern at the what? At the, at the support. So it's very important for you guys to have as, a, as many information as possible so that you can see what the market is telling you. The market has to tell you something. Remember, uh, these market makers, all the dealers, are not just doing things uh, without, without uh, leaving out some information, there are th some information that have been uh, that have been have been uh, have been have been left behind when these guys make a movement. So it's up for us to understand to know what they are telling us. What they are telling us. That's the only thing. Once you understand what the market makers or what the dealers or the market movers are telling you, then you know how to you know how to to go with it. That's very important. All right, now let's take a look at something else. Let's take a look at another example. Uh, so this one, we are done with this one. So we are waiting, it's, an, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a waiting opportunity. So we put it in a waiting room. Uh, so just keep an eye on this one. Whatever you see something, you get it. But uh, something else might occur in this, in this. You have to understand that anything might, might happen. Uh, if there is a genuine breakout on this trend line, below this trend line, so expect something like this. Breakout, then retest, then boom. So after this retest here, after retest, you will see, you have to see a candlestick, uh, uh, you have to see a reversal candlestick pattern formed. Either dodge candlestick pattern formed at, now this one will turn into resistance because if the market move, made a pullback from this area here to this point. That means this point here will be acting as a resistance. So when the market already made a, a, a retest there, it will form, it will form anything, maybe that uh, double top or anything like pin bar, uh, anything like pin bar or Head and shoulder, whatever, whatever button. It has to tell you something. It has to tell you something. Once you see that, then you take it trade confidently. You take it trade confidently because you are you are already sure of which direction the market will be. But if there is no true true breakout here, and we still have this information, we might regard that as an uptrend. The market will be uh, moving uh, upward. So that's very important, guys, to understand. It's very important to understand. Uh, once you know that, you are very clear and you have to enjoy life in the Forex market. 
Okay. Uh, let me receive some few questions before I proceed. You know, we're going to look at a lot of examples. Let me receive some few questions before I, pro I proceed. And uh, from there, I can give some, uh, some more. I can give some more examples. Any question, guys? If we have some question, if you have any question, please, regarding what we have just watched right now, if you have any question before we take a look at at some more examples, you know, it's very important for you to understand this. Remember, we are just we are just going to finish these simple stuffs, these basic stuffs. Uh, maybe on on uh, maybe tomorrow, but uh, starting on Wednesday, we're going to start advanced steps. We're going to start advanced program. Uh, we're going to start with market makers calls. Then we go to trading market strategy. Then we go to other uh, strategy market makers methods. There will be a lot of issues to cover in those in those steps. So guys, um, if you have any question. If we have any question before I proceed, no question, guys. Do we have any question, please? If no question, please let me know. Let me know. If you don't have any question, please let me know. If it's clear, if it's clear, let me know. It's clear. If you uh, uh, you have not understood anything, just just tell me so that I may I may I may repeat again the same stuff. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Bravias. Kamugisha, Mr. Kamugisha is saying no question. Clear, it's clear, it's clear. Okay, it's very clear. Now, uh, let's go. Let's go to something else. Uh, you know, we need to, to 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 see as many examples as possible. Why? Because we have to know uh, different areas or different ways where the market, uh, in which the market might 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 be uh, shown as something. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, remember GBPUSD guys, remember we analyzed GBPUSD and I sent the GBPUSD analysis on the group and today it just did what it was supposed to, to be done. See guys, we had this on four hours time frame. Remember we had this one here, we had this one. Uh, and I told you guys that we have uh, we have this kind of okay. Let me let me do this. This one is very clear. Okay, you can see this one. Uh, the market made a breakout. Made a breakout below this. Below this what? Uh, you know I have considered this. This touch one, two, three, and this one here. Four. Uh, I've not considered this one because if we consider this one, we are just going to get away from this and this. So we just have one, two. But if we consider this one, if we consider this one, we have uh, this touch, uh, this touch here, although it's not very, very huge. This one, this one, and this one. So we have a breakout below this, and you can see the market made it some kind of retest. Uh, this little pullback there. Then it created a what? It created a pin, a pin bar there. After creating a pin bar, you can see boom, the market moved down. So we had how many pips? We had about until now we have about with the market moved about 65.9 pips down. So uh, guys, you don't need to use, uh, you don't need to use a very huge energy. Just follow the process. Just follow the instruction. Just do it, do it. Simple like that. Once, once you have something like this, a breakout, then a, a, a retest, then a pin bar, you can see there. So you see the breakout pin bar, but also you can see, uh, like the market, uh, okay, just like that. Then you can see the market moving down, just like this. So it's very, it's very, it's very clear. It's very clear. Yeah? You you would have already made this about sixty five point twenty nine pips there after making this kind this simple analysis, just like that. 
just like that. But look at this. Where, where would be your entry? At the formation of this pin bar. Pin bar there. Then you take a trade. It's, it's an addition. Remember, it's an addition of information. You, you don't just trade it alone. You just, add, you just have a lot of you just have a lot of information, then you combine together, then you get it. Just like that, guys. Just like that. So it's very important. It's very important. It's very important. We have another stuff here. Another thing here. Let me let me show you. Let me show you guys. This was this was, was what? Okay. Uh, let me do like this. Okay. This is Euro USD. You see Euro USD, guys. Uh, if you check, take a look at Euro USD, just draw in this line. Okay, just draw like that. You see, see this area. Now let's let us expand this one. Let us expand this one. You can see Euro USD is a downtrend. There are people, there are people who are just trading without first understanding the trend of the market. Euro is, is a downtrend, guys. It's very clear, very clear. You can see the market creating this. Uh, low, low, uh, low high. Hmm? Low, low, low high. See? So, so now the market is now moving down. And now, in, do you see this rally here? This down movement here? This down movement, uh, the market has to move down, it has to pass through this area in order to create a valid low low. Remember on the uptrend we are looking at high high, but on a downtrend we are looking at low low. See, this is, this is what I'm talking about guys. Let me show you. This is what I'm talking about. See, this one here is, uh, is low high. Uh, this one here is low, 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 high, low, 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 high. So, in order for this, in order for this one, low, uh, this one, the one that is created here, to be a low, low, it has to go some distance down. Let me show you. Sometimes we, we can measure like this. Sometimes you can measure like this. Okay, let me, let me take this one here. Just this one. Take that. Just come and put it there. Just by considering the distance from here to here. So at least for this market, for, for, for this to uh, for this low low to be a valid from the from this point to this point means this law law formed here, the law law formed here has to move past this previous law law. So uh, it just form law law somewhere there. So this one will be valid. Then the market has to move back to this. Then down, now, see, so creating another low, 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 that's how it's supposed to go. And I'm very confident, I'm very confident with this, with this, uh, with this Euro USD. Why? Because, because let me show you something else. Why, why do I think that this will go down big times? I want to show you something else. Let me show you something else, guys. Sorry. Let me show you something else. We have not come into uh, into discussion about the uh, confirmations and the candlestick patterns, but I'm just trying to show you uh, the other things that you need to look at before you look for the uh, for the for the confirmation of the entry. Confirmation of entry. Now, look at this. Look at this. Remember, this is Euro USD. Why do I think that this 
this one has to, to move down. If you look at the weekly time frame, you can see in 2000, 2017, in 2017, the market left a gap, a market gap. You see this gap here, guys? You see this gap here? The market in 2017, the market left a market gap. There was a gap that was left unfilled. This gap was never filled by the market. So why do I think that this downtrend might go very far? Just it might go very far in order to fill this gap, to fill uh, 2017 market gap that was formed, just to move down. So once to move down, you can see up there about 411.0 pips, 400 uh, plus pips, 400 plus pips. So for anyone who can hold this one, for anyone who can hold this one, if you can hold this one, you have a good money in this in this pair. And you can see the market created on weekly time frame. You can see another confirmation. You can see here we have head. We have left shoulder, we have a right shoulder. So the market already made the first move, then a pullback, a second move, uh, second move there. Uh, we do not have a clear pullback. Maybe you can get this as a pullback or whatever, but uh, we do not have a clear pullback. But in this, whatever case it is, it has to fill this game. It has to fill this game. So we haven't finished the three levels of market maker. When it comes to market makers method, we'll discuss about this, guys. So don't worry about that. Now let's go back to uh, let's go back to four hours time frame so that we can keep looking at what we are looking at. Let's go back to four hours time frame. Okay. Let's go back to four hours time frame. Let me let me erase this, all this stuff. Maybe it's not going out because it's not there. Okay, so we are now at four hours time frame. This is the four hours time frame. Now looking at this, looking at this now, looking at this now. Okay, let's see at the critical areas if we can see uh, we can see our our candlestick patterns. If you look, take a look, a careful look at this one, you can see we have Doge. You see, you see guys, uh, where, where is it? This one. In this area, uh, in this area, you can see we have, we have triple, triple touch, triple touch at this point. One, two, three. I consider this as three, three touches. We have multiple touches. One, two, three maybe four, multiple touches. But uh, we, we have, we had this, you see Doge. It should, it, 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 remember one thing is, this chemistry pattern, it should not, it should not appear just close to, to, to the falling, just the area, just the area uh, of uh, the critical area. It doesn't matter if it forms somewhere in between of a lot of other candlestick patterns or anywhere. But whatever it happens, whenever it happens at the critical area, just like this, it just happened at what? It just happened at the, at the resistance. It doesn't matter if it happened there just before the fall or somewhere at the, at the middle. But the most important thing to consider is it just happened at the critical area, at the resistance zone, at the supply zone. Whenever you see that, that tells you, that gives you information that the dealers are preparing a huge move. The dealers are preparing a huge move. That's why after this, you can see this huge move down. <laughs> you can see this huge, huge move down, guys. And you can see we have Dodge, long, uh, long leg Dodge candlestick patterns, and another one like, like Gravestone candlestick pattern, but it's, it's, it, ha it, it has some shadow below. So it is not a complete gravestone dodge candlestick pattern. So we have some uh, pin bar, a lot of pin bar. You can see pin bar there. 
So after that, those all those things gives you confirmation that this is about to fall. So you can see the market fall and made another pullback there near to the critical area. And we had another information, we had pin bar and we have Dodge Kettle Sticky Pattern, then another fall. You see, just go like that and you can see the market uh, just up there. You can see a pin bar there, then it fall. You can see the market made a pullback. Then we had multiple pin bar there, then fall. So right now we are in the fall, but we already have information, pin bar, pin bar, a lot of pin bar from there. So UUSD also is an opportunity, guys. It's an opportunity that you have to look at and we have a very wonderful opportunity on this one. But take a look, a closer look at this one. Something that you need to consider in your trading. Just consider your trading. Okay. So let's look at another example. Let's look at another example. If we can see uh, something else somewhere formed. All right, all right. Just take a look at this one. Uh, number one thing is to understand it. Is, is, is it a trend or range market? You have to consider that. Because if you know it's a range market, then you, you have to know how to deal with the range market. If it's a trending market, you know how to deal with trending market. Looking at Euro, Euro Audi, Looking at Euro Audi, you can see on larger time frame is an uptrend. Uh, on daily time frame, daily time frame, it is also a clear uptrend. It's also a clear uptrend. You can see. So if we could draw, we could draw uh, connecting those lines. Uh, so it's a clear uptrend. And on four hours time frame, four hours time frame, also it shows that. Uh, it's now uh, it's kind of, it's clear it's a clear uptrend it's a clear uptrend but to see a clear picture of it you have to consider a uh, larger time frame so uh, that one is very clear uh, if we control just like that see it's a clear uptrend guys it's a clear uptrend it's a clear uptrend now you can see what the market have been doing at this point you can see the pin bar, the pin bar formed there. Uh, here we had more, well, we had uh, a, a little one there, just above the zone critical area. But we have, we had a what? We had a, a uh, W pattern or the bottom here, we had a W pattern before this move. So those are very important issues to consider. If you go to four hours, you can see in this area we had an inverse of head and shoulder. You can see, uh, you can see. Uh, you can see left shoulder, right shoulder. You can see the head down here. Then the market boom up. So these patterns are, the market patterns are formed at the critical area. Even this kind of sticky pattern also, the profitable kind of sticky patterns are also formed at the critical area. So those area, those zones, demand zone or supply zones are the most important things that you need to consider guys when looking at the, at the market. So it's very important, it's very powerful, it's very powerful if we trade just like that. Okay, may I receive some few questions? If you guys have got some few questions before I proceed from there, I, want, I would like to receive some few questions uh, so that I may, I may know if we are together or uh, I have to make something clear. All right, guys. Any question, please? Any question? Maybe, let me come back here. Any question guys, up to that point, if it's clear, let me know if it's clear. Well, I, have to, I have to push, I have to push forward. Uh, so let me know if you have any question. Guys, this is a class, so I expect questions. So you guys must, answer, must ask me questions. So I want to receive questions so that I may know that we are together. If, you are, if there is no questions, that means you guys are very genius because you understand everything and everything is very clear, which is not true. Everything cannot be clear just like that. There must be questions. So I want to receive some questions. If you have questions, please let me know. Let me know. Uh, 
if you have questions, please. If you want to speak, if you want to ask your question, uh, so that everybody can can hear you, please let let me know so that I can unmute you. Uh, how many candlestick uh, confirm? How many candlestick confirm at critical area? No, no, you, you do not need many candlestick patterns. You don't need just only one. Just only one. If you see a pin bar or if you see a uh, doji candlestick pattern with other confirmations in combination with other confirmations like support or resistance or uh, uh, market patterns, whatever, other confirmations, then you just take a trade. You don't need, you don't need uh, a hundred of pin bar to be formed down there so that you can see, you can understand that now this is a, a trade to take. You just need only one. Only one is enough. Although they may occur as many as dealers can decide to, but uh, only one is enough. So don't worry about that, Mr. Musa. Any other question? Any other question? Uh, what, what can I cause the market not to respect pin bar or dodge? Wow, I think this is a smart question. Okay, you know, there are numbers of issues. Number one, number one is, uh, number one is, is a fundamental, or we can say economic data. Uh, if we have fundamental or economic data released and uh, it's a powerful economic data, uh, the market might decide to move against every technical setup of, uh, which is presented by the market. So fundamental or news, if there is a strong news in the market, the market might move very vigorously uh, and even against the, 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 the this technical setup. Remember, this is a technical setup. Uh, it's among the technical uh, setup that you're using in the forest market. So if there is something like strong news or fundamental, uh, they might cause the market not to behave or not to obey whatever technical setup is presented in the market. But you can see, after a while, the market will come back. The market will recover. And so that's how it is, because uh, most of the time when there is a strong economic data that have been released in the forex market, you can see the market act, act, moving against the technical setup. But after a while, you can see the market coming back or recovering from that after a while. Not all, uh, not, 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 not all the time that the market will just recover right away uh, from the from the market uh, from the, uh, after the release of the news. Not right away, but uh, some some other markets or some other impact might take a long time for the market to recover, because you see the the the, the, the news or fundamentals sometimes might cause the change of the trade. So if the news has caused the change of the trade, there are, could be some information provided by the technical setup before to show you that the trend is going just to reverse. So uh, you need to, uh, to understand that as well. I think Mr. Mzrai, we, uh, uh, Mr. Mzrai we, uh, we are there together. Okay. If, if you need more elaboration or clarification on or clarification on that, you can you can let me know, please. Any other question, guys? Any other question? If we we have some more questions, some more questions. Okay. Okay, it's clear. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Mzrai. We're together. Okay. Um, Maybe we just because we are looking at the real market. Maybe just we can just take a look at some more opportunities that we might consider in our trading, in our uh, trading, uh, trading, trading, trading uh, manual. All right, let's go and take a look at some more opportunities. All right, take a look at GBP, JPY. Take a look at the GBP, JPY. I don't like this one. Let me let me just take a look at something else. Uh, I want something that's very clear. I want something that's very clear. Uh, I 
or the clear stars or the clear stars okay maybe this one gbp swiss franc gbp swiss franc okay how can i put this okay just just this one okay this the touches you know don't don't mind this one don't mind this one guys don't mind this one because this one was kind of false breakout <laughs> out of this uh like here so a false breakout just to just to hit or to to hunt your stop loss then boom back to the uptrend so you can see uh you know do you know why the market forex market is not is not 100 percent clear because of this kind of stuff sometimes you might say uh my i've already drawn my trend line and i'm sure the market will behave in this trend line but you see something like this the market just made a false breakout then back to the uptrend see that's how the market is and you can see the market already created the inverse of head and shoulder here what the hell was that Okay. Okay. Let, let, let me let, let, let me let me let me share. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Uh, I thought that I will. <laughs> I thought that I shared this, but uh, I didn't share. So this is GBP, GBP, GBP Swiss franc. This is GBP Swiss franc, guys. Okay. I think I, I, I have to take this one. Let's see. Let's see uh, this one here. Uh, right. So that what I was saying is don't mind about this one because this one, this one here. This one here was kind of false breakout. False breakout. See, this one here was purposefully for the hunting of your stop loss for those who were up, up on uptrend you can see guys the market already created uh, inverse of head and shoulder you see the inverse of head and shoulder then boom but you see that this see the market coming down there then but when you draw a trend line you see the market is supposed to behave on this area but you see what this is why you need to understand a lot of stuff. This is why you need to understand a lot of stuff. Why? Because guys, if you just consider, if you just consider trading using just trend line, you are lost. Because sometimes the market might do something like this. So you need also to understand the retest of the chart uh, of the of the neckline, neckline of the market patterns. You can see the market was just here, just here. See the market created this kind of stuff. Uh, just there. Inverse of head and shoulder, the neckline was there. So the market was trying to come back, made a retest on this, then going back. So for the for the person who just just consider trend line without understanding or considering the neckline will just will just feel very bad or will just take the opposite direction of the trend thinking that the market maybe is now going to sell it's not going to sell it's just a, it's just a retest on the neckline then the market is going with its movement just like that so you need to consider so considering this trend line considering this trend line you can see the market may, uh, keep making forming the pin bar then moving the, and, and a pullback at the support at this dynamic support that the market is, is creating a pin bar or logic candlestick pattern you can see the pin bar there you can see logic candlestick patterns there uh, so you can see a lot of stops a lot of stops at this point you can see the market has made a breakout below this and uh, you see this movement here 
she expected the richest there, expect the richest, market richest. Then if this was a genuine breakout, then you expect something like this. This is what I'm looking at, guys. So it's very important for you to consider as many evidences as possible before you make a decision on the forex market. It's very important to consider as many evidences as possible before you make a decision in the forex market. All right, let's just, let's just uh, consider, let us just consider something else. Uh, what, uh, maybe let's look at this. This is, uh, this is uh, Canadian dollar Swiss franc. You see Canadian dollar Swiss franc forming there, up there, the inverse of head and shoulder, head, uh, not inverse, it's a head and shoulder. We have head, we have left shoulder, right shoulder. But on this shoulder, you can see we have pin bar, we have the pin bar. Even at the head, we had a pin bar. You can see, because those are the critical areas, the critical areas. You can see also after that, on the pullback, we had uh, the can just keep adding. We had a pin bar, then boom, the market went down. And I expect the market to keep moving down uh, because uh, it's just at the, uh, it has not yet created what? Has not yet created level two and level three. So we are just in that point right now and uh, we are looking at it just like that. So that is Euro NZD. Uh, this is, maybe, maybe take a look at what? Take a look at the, at the GBP card. You see? See what has been formed here, the BP card uh, on four hours time frame has just formed a pin bar there, which tells me that this one uh, might be a good a bullish opportunity. Uh, see, this is this is USD Canadian dollar, uh, USD Canadian dollar. Uh, so you can see on four hour time frame, this information provided by this candlestick pattern there, uh, it's not just the information, it is also at the critical area, right? You can draw just like that. You can draw just like that. You can see this touch, this one, this one, and this one. You can see this one here formed, pin bar formed at this critical area. So it might be a very good, uh, maybe short term bullish opportunity. Then uh, the market will just continue with uh, selling. So those are the most important thing to consider, guys. When trade. You can see as many, you can see a lot of pin bar, a lot of Dutch candlestick patterns are the ones that are formed at the critical area before market making any, any necessary movement. All right, guys, I think I've talked too much and maybe we have some questions. Uh, maybe we have some questions before we proceed. Maybe you have some questions before we proceed. And uh, I think if for today, we will not have many things because we are just trying to go through what we already covered last in our last presentation and this is just uh, to cement on what uh, we already discussed about now if you have any question before we move on any question uh, any question guys you know i'm still in the office i'm still in the office too late. Hello. yes you can talk, please. Yes, I wanted to ask how uh, can we spot market manipulation? Come on again. Um, how can I spot? How can we spot market manipulation? Market ma manipulations. Uh, you know, we are coming to that as we proceed with our program. Okay. So our program is, is like three months of four months. Of program. So we have a lot of stuff. Okay. We have not yet come okay. to that. We are just on the way to reach there. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. No, no. All right, guys. Um, any question, please? Any question? Any other question, guys? Okay, so we do not have a question. All right. Uh, 
Thank you guys for your time. I think uh, I think we, we, we end here today. Uh, we have Yeah, no, uh, Mr. Musa is asking, is, is it just pin bar and doge? No, no, no. We have a lot of, of candlestick patterns in the Forex market, a lot of candlestick patterns. But the most uh, occurred one that, that occur, occurs often in the Forex market are these pin bar and doge candlestick patterns. Pin bar and doge candlestick patterns. Uh, and I, I explained yesterday that uh, sometimes the pin bar is, is just like a general uh, general term to represent some other uh, uh, correlated type of, of bars or candlestick patterns that have been formed, for, for example, hammer and so on and so forth. So uh, when we discuss about pin bar, we discuss about, uh, we cover all those, uh, all, all those those candlestick, all those uh, candle, other candlestick patterns. So, uh, Uh, so, so uh, we have some other uh, confirmations that are uh, coming through other candlestick patterns, like uh, bullish Gaffey. We'll discuss about that tomorrow. Bullish Gaffey candlestick patterns. We'll see about bullish Gaffey candlestick patterns. See about uh, railway track candlestick patterns. We'll discuss about it tomorrow. So, once we are done with it, uh, in bullish Gaffey railway track. And some, and some others, if we can just spot them in the market, they will be done with candlestick part. But uh, let me advise you, if you want to, if you want to, 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 uh, to be profitable uh, or to use candlestick patterns effectively, just focus on this two, pin bar and doge. Uh, there are, as I, as I said, uh, these candlestick patterns are not the only thing that confirm market reversal. Mr. Musa, these candlestick patterns are not the only thing that, 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 that confirm reversal of the market. We have already discussed about market patterns, market patterns that are formed in the forex market and so many other steps. So don't, don't, just, don't, don't just cram this and think that this one is the only thing that you need to consider on the uh, reversal market. No, no, no. A lot of stuff are there, so you need to, to understand everything and combine so that you can have uh, you can have uh, a very clear, a very clear setup. Okay, thank you guys. God bless you. I hope we can see each other tomorrow. And uh, make sure if you have not subscribed or if you have not paid and you are here, make sure you make your payment tomorrow because we will not allow anyone to proceed with us if we, uh, you have not made any. Payment. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Thank you.